Yes, honey. It's truly good with you guys. We're back at it, back home in Logic Pro. We got this new update, 11.1. Now, some important information for you guys. One, in order to get Logic Pro 11.1 on your computer, you need to have Sonoma installed. That needs to be your iOS. Now, we are currently on Sequoia as our latest operating system at the time of recording this video. I'm currently on Sonoma running this and in order to get these new features like the stem splitter once again guys you actually need to be on a silicon computer you need to be on a silicon mac so any of the m1s any of those and you'll be all set to go so the first thing we're going to get into is the new workflow with the search option which is much needed so i'm going to add a new track we're going to do option command n as our shortcut for a new track and now we have this new menu. This is organized. So we used to have like a bunch of stuff. This is way more sleek and organized. So when you go to drums, you get drum kit designer, drum synth and ultra beat. This is what I'm talking about. This is so much better. You go into your sampler, you have your three samplers. You go to your studio instruments. We got all of the new instruments already ready. Now this search, uh, situation and this new organization is, is throughout Logic Pro, wherever you are, whether you're in the mix window, arrangement view, and I'll show you guys. So in this case, let's pull up uh, some studio piano. Okay, we have all these different options over here. We have the, all these vintage uprights. So I'm gonna check out the vintage wood. Let's pull this up. So this is one of the new instruments, not necessarily in 11.1, but this is in the new Logic Pro 11. People have been asking me about these patches and where to get them. So now it's way more organized when we search for stuff. So now that we're in the arrangement view, we can come over here to where it says piano. And now, bam, look at this. We have this new, beautiful, organized menu. I am loving this a lot. So let's say I wanna search for bass. Well, this is gonna search through my plugins. This is gonna search through Studio Bass. And this is also gonna search through whatever instruments you have installed, which is again, beautiful. All right, so now let's get into the new bounce and place functionality. So what we're gonna do here is do Control and B. And now we have all of these new options available to us. So we can do this as one file. We can do one file per track or one file per region. Now this is super useful. And then let's say we want to do this whole thing now, all of these samples. So we can do uh, control and B again. So now we have all these new applicable options. So if we do one file, then it's basically just going to bounce this straight across. So let's do that. So you see we have one long file. Now, if you wanna keep your same chops now, we can go ahead and unmute this and then we can do this again. So we'll do uh, control B again. Now let's do uh, one file per region. And now you can see this is chopped up just like how we have it before. So instead of it being one long file, you can keep these chops, which is convenient for whatever purpose you may have. That's 100. Now, if you're really serious about taking your Logic Pro experience to the next level and beyond, then my Logic Pro Masterclass is gonna be the solution for you because I take all of these concepts, mixing, mastering, sounds, automation, and so much more in time and care into this class to make it easy and digestible for you to understand. Now, I completely understand if you're a beginner and you're trying to figure out logic and trying to figure out how to record, I've also included chapters for the ultimate beginner where you know nothing about recording, you will still be able to follow along. So if you wanna enroll in that course, I'll leave that tag below for you guys so you can have access to it. So let's say all of this, if we wanna bounce all of this um, as one, we would normally do control B and then we can do one file, right? And this is gonna slim it down to just one stereo track. So let's do that just so you can see it. And it has made it one track. Right, there's that option, which is dope. Now what you can do is instead of this being in a separate window, which it used to be, we can grab all of these now. So let's get all of this and we can bounce all of these as individual tracks. 
So we can actually do now one file per track. And so now what's going to happen is we get all three separate, which is really dope. I've always uh, given Logic Pro uh, the, the number one king position of bouncing in place. Other DAWs are still trying to catch up to this, but this is super useful. So with our mixer, we now can rearrange the tracks from our mixer. So all you have to do is select a track that you want. So you're going to click and hold for just a second. And then you see how it like brings it forward. You see the shade on the sides. We can now move this track, which is dope. Now you're not limited to one track. You can actually do multiple tracks. So we can do these three, click them. All right. And move all three over. So that's really useful. And you can also do this now for your bus. Now, in my previous tutorials, I showed you guys how to do a bus. So let's say we wanted to add a bus to one of the rim shots. So I'm going to come over here to the bus and bam, you see the search window pops up again, which is again, I think this is really dope. So you can search for a bus if you want. In this case, we're just going to do bus, let's say um, bus six. Okay, now for bus six, this is where it says aux one. We're gonna come over here. We're gonna add a new plugin. So this is really dope. So I could search reverb, and now we have all these reverbs to choose from. So we're gonna try the new reverb here. We have two new reverbs actually. So we have this here, which is the Quantech Room Simulator. Turn the reverb level all the way up since it's on a aux here. So we're going to send some of the rim to that reverb. All right, dope. Sounds pretty good to me, actually. So in terms of this, we can now take this aux, click and hold, and just move it over next to the drums. And now this pops up in our arrangement window. So there's a two for one. So we have our new reverb, which is the QRS. Then we have uh, the yardstick. And this is uh, another option that we have. And these are basically modeled off of some vintage reverbs, but we can listen to this as well. It sounds a little bit brighter. I want to hear this reverb or some other stuff. We're going to have to do some more videos on um, checking out these plugins in depth just to see how they sound in context of different vibes. But we have these new reverbs, which is pretty dope. OK, now the next thing I want to check out is the browser. If we can browse one shots in real time. So what I mean is while the beat is playing, I want to be able to browse through my one shot drums and basses and just see if it will uh, play right away, because before we would have to wait like a beat or two. So let's see what we get. So, yeah, so it's actually worse. So it's not even playing at all. So this is what's supposed to happen. Now, when we play the beat, we're not getting any sound at all. So this is where we still need some work, Apple. So again, guys, we got to get this fixed in 2024 going into 2025. I want to be able to preview my drums and one shots in real time with the beat so I can start editing and you know getting it in right away other than that i'm loving all of the new updates all of these are tasteful mwah, mwah. they're on their way um i would say to conclude this is i believe logic pro is officially the complete doll we have stems we have dope samplers to be able to do really dope stuff we have a good drum machine designer uh mastering tools ai tools for mastering i, I mean this is this is, in my opinion, a complete doll. And for what, $199, I believe, is going for? Let's see how much logic is. 
yeah, $199 and you're getting all of this. Other than that, guys, if you guys got any value out of this video, give your brother a thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and turn on those bell notifications so you don't miss anything else. And I'll holler at you in the next one. Peace. Thank you